My solicitor said it'd be a good idea that it would look good in court that I'd tried to get help and sort myself out and everything. And I've always kind of felt like it was something that I should do, you know, with being adopted and... What do you remember before living with Michael and Rachel? Um, I have, like, this image, this feeling about being somewhere when I was really tiny, but it's nothing that I can put names to. Or Tell me about it. It's just like a moment in time. It, it's nothing. It's just, um, there's cows, uh, <laughs> like a sea of cows and and I'm with somebody and um, they have their arms around me but they're sitting behind me on this wall and, and so I can't see their face. You know, and I can't remember if it actually happened or if I just dreamt it but um, I feel... I feel safe. And it, it's, um, it's more of a feeling than proper memory but... Um, it's, it's, it's so nice. Well, I'm not Mr. Game since 1970. Well, at least pretend to enjoy yourself for Mum. I will. I will. Mm hmm because she'll go mad. Aye. And you know when she makes a scene, she really makes a scene. She'd make the whole bloody show. Right, coat on. Mum said to meet at six, which really means five, so we must be off now. Can you not just go out with that lad? What was his name? Brian? Oh, Ryan? Oh, God knows, that's well and truly over. Well, well what happened there? <sighs> his phone kept going off whilst he was asleep. Messages from another girl. <laughs> Bloody phones. The phone wasn't the problem, Grandad. And excuse me, but where are you going now? I'm just going for a wee. <sighs> Fucking coward. You know, he's probably on his way to the police right now. He's not. You don't know that. He doesn't want to get himself involved with the police. No, you're just being paranoid. Well, then he'll come after us then. When I mean, he took his gun back. Yeah, and he has nothing to gain by doing that. He's going to leave us alone and we leave him alone, OK? No, do you know what? He doesn't deserve that. So what? Do you just want to track him down and kill him too? Uh, yeah, that's smart. Let's just murder half of Manchester then, shall well, we? if he's not going to do it, then we will. You know, I don't think you're actually in the right mindset to be planning this. Well, what kind of mindset's that then? You are drinking wine out of a bottle, for God's sake. Like you have any right to be judging me. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, if we're going to do this, it's because it's the right thing to do and not just because you're upset and you're having a hard time. What kind of hard time's that? This whole thing with you and Mark. You know, I have seen the bruises. Do you know what? I don't need your help. I can do this on my own. Come on, let's get moving. He'll be home soon. <laughs> 